Hey guys, Bobby Castillo. Hey, hey! Hi <laughs> right, guys, Hector Castillo, Bobby, girlshace.com. Here to talk to you about how to get girls to kiss you first so you don't have to be the one to go for it. And the way you do that is you start dancing. Come on, little song, Bobby, Bobby, Bobby Castillo. And she's like, oh my God! <laughs> All right, so it basically comes down to being sexy, ooh, revelatory thing, but also making her feel confident enough to kiss you, right? So it's not that girls don't wanna kiss you. Obviously they do if they're attracted to you and they're feeling you. But mostly the reason why they're not gonna kiss you is, well, firstly, it's the male's role to be the aggressor. Um, just look at the biology, the dick goes in the pussy, the man is big, comes at the girl, comes at the girl, <laughs> that sounds really aggressive. Comes at the bitch. <laughs> Hello. Uh, but the girl receives things, right? So the man escalates, he, he asserts his sexuality and she, allows him to come closer and closer and closer and receives him. But that doesn't mean that girls don't want to jump on you and kiss you and, and get on their knees spontaneously and suck your dick. They like being aggressive, but they need a safe space to do that in because since it's not the normal role for the girl to be the aggressive one, she needs to feel confident that she's not gonna get rejected because it's such a rare thing for her to be the aggressor, especially in a social context where she's in a bar or a club. And if she is seen walking up to a guy and he rejects her, she looks horrible because she just totally reversed the natural order and still got rejected. Wow, that's really, it's worse than a guy's rejection because people are just like, oh, a guy tried to talk to a girl and duh, he got rejected. It's normal shit, happens all the time. But if it's reversed, oh my gosh, she feels bad. So that's double if the guy's talking to her and she's just, throws herself at, her, at him and kisses him. So you need her to feel somewhat confident that she's not gonna get totally rejected. Or what you can do is just be so sexy that she's gonna try and go for it anyways. Now there's some little like tips and tricks that I'll go uh, into in the end on how to get them to kiss you, but this is really the strategy, right? There's no magical like, kiss me girl, and she's gonna do it. You can do something like that. And that's really my favorite like trick way to get her to kiss you. It's just, I'll be looking at her, I'll just go, I'll just purse out my lips, just tap it. I've done it plenty of times where I know that I'm in uh, a dominant position. Like I'm sitting down and she's like giving me all the effort and she's standing up and she's talking. And I'm just like, right? Like she's like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Like, okay, before you go, let me kiss. And just do it in a casual way. Like it's the most normal thing in the world. And she's gonna go, oh, okay. That's my favorite way to do like a tip trick way to get her to kiss you. But the most consistent way to do it is just be sexy. And that's not just looking good, right? For the guys who are like, oh, I'm not pretty, so fuck you. You can make yourself pretty, first of all. You can get nice haircuts. You can wear makeup. You can wear, you can wear I guess you could. Uh, some guys can get away with that. Uh, wear jewelry, take care of your skin, brush your fucking teeth, eat well, work out, dress well, learn fashion learn how to present yourself in a sexy way. And that's what this entire channel is dedicated to. So subscribe, ring the bell. If you wanna work on getting sexy, it's a long-term process, just like getting in good shape. It's gonna take fucking time and discipline. But that's the best way that I've seen consistently girls throw themselves at guys and kiss them first and the guy doesn't have to kiss her is because he's sexy, but not only in his appearance, but in his game. So you become sexy in the way that you present yourself in that you're touching her and you're turning her on, right? You're touching her in an intimate but socially calibrated way where you escalate from going to the elbow and then you're on the waist and then you're grabbing her and you're like, oh, you're so sexy. And then she just gets so turned on that she goes for it. So you got the sexy part, but then you need to have her confident that she's going to not get rejected. And one way that you can do that is by investing in her a lot. Let's say you're standing with her and you're having 20, 25 minute conversation, right? Now she's kind of like, okay, he likes me. He's not, there's so many other girls that he could be talking to and I think he's attractive and I think he's hot. So in my mind, he could go talk to any other girl, but I'm the special one, at least tonight. And he's giving me all his attention. So because she is confident that you actually like her, then she's gonna be confident that if she goes for the kiss, because you're a man and you're gonna be happy to get any sort of intimacy. If she goes to kiss you, you're going to accept it. And 
in that moment where she's really attracted and really horny, and she's confident that she's not gonna get rejected, it creates fire and she's gonna go for it and kiss you. Now you can position yourself in ways that will induce her to do it. That'll create an environment for her to kiss you. So one obvious way, just think in terms of simple distance in physics. The closer you are to her, the less effort she needs to put out to go and kiss you. So a lot of the times when I had girls just go ahead and kiss me of their own volition and I don't have to do it first, is they're just, I'm against the wall and they're on me and I've got my hand around their waist and I'm, you know, I'm playing with their, I almost said playing with their skin. That's so crazy. I'm playing with their skin. <laughs> but you're, you know, you're rubbing her back or you're grabbing her ass. Um, you guys are playing with, um, your hands are doing this. You're being all cutesy and fucking weird and cute. Whatever, right? If she's close to you and you put your face close to her, then at some point she's just gonna go, no, and just go for it and start kissing you. Those are most of the times when I've got kissed first. Now there are times when she's just so attracted to you that she's just gonna fucking go for it. I remember one time I had this class with this girl. It was the first week of classes in college. And then I was throwing a party at my fraternity house and I'm walking around the party and then I just hear Hector. And I'm like, huh? And then this bitch just kisses me and I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm drunk, so my full animal instincts are on. So I just grab her, pick her up, <laughs> carry her through the party, bring her to the bathroom and shove my dick in her mouth. So we went from her kissing me to me getting a blow. Well, it's not really a blowjob when you're like, it's more of a face fuck. But she kissed me because the way that I was acting in the class that we had, you know, I, was, I was in my fifth year, so I was pretty experienced and a lot of people knew me, so I had reputation. Um, I was dressing good, I was looking good, not to sound arrogant, but it was just the truth. And all the girls were flirting with me in the class and so she saw me at a party and she might've been drinking a little bit and she's like, okay, I'm gonna go for it. So are you gonna have an advantage if you're a good looking guy? Yes, it would be stupid of me to tell you that's not the truth. But you can make yourself look attractive to women because women are attracted they're attracted to looks, obviously, right? That's why you wanna fix your shit and look good and dress well and take care of your stuff. But they're also attracted to behaviors. Even if you're not the best looking guy, but you take care of yourself and then people in your environment respect you, you're well known, she knows that other girls have gotten with you, that's gonna be the equivalent of you being a traditionally hot guy. And she's gonna be really attracted to you. So she's gonna have a much higher chance of feeling, or not even confident enough, but just so horny for you that she almost doesn't even care that she is gonna get rejected and she just wants the chance to kiss you. So, be sexy, create an environment where she feels comfortable going into that chance of rejection and putting out that risk by putting her close, close proximity, giving her attention, giving her investment and emotional, um, emotional investment and time and she's going to feel like, okay, this guy likes me, it's worth going for. Now, if you want tips and tricks to like get her to kiss you, the only ones that I really had experience with, um, because that accounts for like 90 to 95% of the time where girls were kissing me of their own volition. And I know that may not be as exciting as just do this and she's gonna kiss you, but that's how reality works. Most of the time, you're not gonna be able to do these, just kiss her and you got it, or just, do this little dance and all of a sudden she's gonna fucking suck your dick. Like, that's not how it works. You gotta create environments in which girls want to do something. Here, here's how the video is gonna go, or how it went. Uh, hopefully I'm gonna stop talking soon. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting tired of myself. <laughs> it's not about making her kiss you. It's making her want to kiss you. Those are two drastically different, <laughs> it's chicken wings drastically different things going on. Making her kiss you is like, um, I would play beer pong with girls and I would say, okay, for every cup I make, I get to kiss you. And for every cup you make, you get to kiss me. So basically we're gonna end up kissing and she'd be like, oh, okay, you know, but she already wanted to kiss me anyway, so it was fine. And then I'd make a cup and like, blah, 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 and she makes a cup and blah, blah, blah. So that is one trick you can do, right? Or you can do what I said earlier, you go like, just give me a kiss. But there needs to be the context for that. And if you're not making her horny for you and you're not at least giving her, because sometimes when I would do the, oh, kiss me, they're like, mm, you're playing games now. Because maybe I was being too much of a fuckboy, or I'm acting too cool. So I didn't give them enough investment. So they're like, 
oh, this guy's just trying to make me put all this effort in and make himself look cool in the party and make me go for the kiss. No, I'm not about that. So you have to make her feel like you've put enough investment and effort into her that she's willing to take that risk or just be so fucking hot that she doesn't care. Those are the ways that you make a girl want to kiss you. And that's the secret of getting a girl to kiss you first. Okay, Hector Castillo, poppygirlschase.com. Follow me on social media. We have a free seven day mini course in there and right here at the same time, double rainbow. And you can sign up to get a free, <laughs> I cracked myself up, <laughs> a free seven day mini course that teaches you how to approach girls and recognize signs of interest so you can actually get into the situations where you can try out the tips and tricks of this video. Um, subscribe, ring the bell, like. If you have any tips and tricks about how to get girls to kiss you, leave them in the comment section, but I'm pretty fucking sure I covered everything. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Oh, buy my King College book, right? I just mentioned that story where the, the bitch kissed me and I took her into the bathroom and face fucked her. That is in my King of College book. And so if you wanna read more stories about my time in college, which is an absolute fucking bonanza shit show, you can buy my book, it's in the description, but it also teaches you the principles of social circle game. How does reputation work? How does status work? What do people find attractive about men in social circles and how to build your reputation and how to deal with things like gossip. But also, it teaches you how to do that outside of college because the principles are the same. So it doesn't matter if you're in college with friends or you're 28 and you have a professional life, social circle, it's still gonna teach you the principles that you need, so buy it. Okay, Hector Castillo, girlschase.com. See you soon.